Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com. My name is Michael Langdon and today I'm going to do a few final things with Earth in View before we move on to uh, the GIMP. And what I just want to go through with you is the difference between the various types of image files and image formats. So for example, this is waterlilies.jpg and this JPG here stands for JPEG. Most of the photographs and pictures that you see on the internet are JPEGs, and JPEGs use what's called a compression scheme, a lossy compression scheme, to make sure that files are small and compact. <coughs> what uh, the important thing to note, though, about JPEG is that when you zoom in on an image that is a JPEG, what you will find and what you will see are what are called artifacts. And when we say artifacts, what we mean are these little squigglies here that are next to like the petals in the flower and even in the flower. That's what happens when you use a JPEG. So when you use a JPEG, edit a JPEG, and then save as a JPEG, the more times you do that, the slow, the, the, lo the What's going to happen is your image is going to degrade. And this is like if you took a photocopy, if you photocopied an image, and then you photocopied the photocopy, and then you photocopied the photocopy of the photocopy, what you would see is that over time, your image would look worse and worse and worse. And the same thing with JPEGs. You really shouldn't um, open, change a JPEG, and then resave the JPEG. You shouldn't really do that. If you're going to do that, then you should actually um, resave your JPEG. So you could go save as. And you can see that you have all of these formats, and you can actually do what's called a TIFF. A TIFF has no compression, neither does a RAW. And what these would do is they would allow you to save the image file um, without changing the compression scheme at all. Now if I wanted to, I can come up to JPEG here, and as you can see, that there is a, uh, a quality setting here. So if I wanted low quality, I could have low quality, and if I wanted high quality, I could have high quality. And so what I could, would, could do is just simply set this to 100, and then the, the basically the compression scheme would be pretty much nil. So if you do want to just continue to save your JPEGs, you just want to make sure that you set them to 100 here as far as the quality is concerned. Now I'm going to close that because I don't really want to save it right now. Now the other type of file is a GIF file, and GIFs reduce the size by reducing the number of colors. So for example, this has uh, probably about 16,000 different colors in it. So if we wanted to save this as a GIF, what we would do is we would come up to image, and what we would want to do is decrease the color depth. And so right now we have, I have it set at 256 colors, so 8 bits per pixel, and down here you can see that this is an actually a 24 bit per pixel image. So there's a lot of information in here, and we're going to take a lot, we're going to reduce that information by a factor of 3. And so if I click OK here, what you'll see is that we get a little graininess here. And what this graininess really is, is those 16,000 colors, or however many colors there were in our picture, or 24 bits per pixel, have now to, have to now consolidate themselves down into 256 colors. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to zoom in. And for example, this leaf here, we have approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors within this leaf. Okay? And that's why you see the graininess, because basically all of these colors have to basically align themselves with a color pattern or a color within those 256 colors. So you can see here that you can actually see the individual pixel dots here on this leaf, and they look kind of orange. So that's basically, and then you can save this as a GIF if you want to. Um, but again, GIFs are usually used for like cartoons or animations. Um, and
and that's pretty much it for JPEG's GIFs. Basically, if you have a digital camera and you're bringing pictures off it for the first time, you would want to save them as TIFFs, T-I-F-Fs. Uh, but to compress them, you want to save them, if you're going to put them on the internet, you want to compress them and save them as JPEGs. Or you can reduce the number of colors and save them as GIFs. Um, again, my name is Michael Langdon, and I'm at learningengineer.com.